Assalamualaikum and good day dear student. So let's discuss example Reston method. Okay, so we are still looking on the same problem. Okay, but now we want to solve using RK2 Reston methods. So I hope that you already uh, familiar on how to extract all the information from the given problem. So here we have this is our fxy. Okay, we can write our dy dx in fxy. Exponent negative 4x minus 2x plus y. And then given also the step size, delta x equal to h equal to 0 0.5. And then we have the initial condition. Why not? Um, Okay, we start with x not first. x not equal to 0 and then y not equal to 1. Then you ask to calculate or generate the solution for x in between 0 and 2. So let's have our timeline. Alright. So here is our x not equal to 0. The next one, x1 equal to 0 0.5. The increment with your step size. And then x2 equal to 1.0, x3 equal to 1.5, and the last one is your x4 equal to 2.0. Then you stop because we only need up to x equal to 2. So here, y not is simply equal to y0 equal to 1. And then this is all our tasks. We need to estimate our y1, y2 y3 and the last one is y4 so this time kita nak, we want to use a reston method all right okay so let's start our calculation so for i equal to zero we want to compute our y1 equal to y not plus okay remember this is formula for reston if you uh, forget the formula then you may refer here okay i paste the formula here so y not plus one over three time with first slope plus second slope two time with k2 and then multiply with the step size where the calculation of first slope is similar with the other two methods okay k1 is come from our derivative at x not y not so x not is 0 y not is 1 so plug in into our uh, equation So, K1 equal to 2. Okay, then calculate your K2. So, K2 is calculation of your slope at this point. Uh, X0 plus 3 over 4 times with step size. And then Y0 plus 3 over 4 times with your first slope times with your step size. So if I substitute the values, it's 0 plus 3 over 4 multiply with 0 0.5. And then here is 1 plus 3 over 4 times with your k1 is 2 times with your step size 0 0.5. So simplify this, you should get 0 0.3750 for the first point and then 1.7500 for the uh, second point here why so substitute into the equation exponent negative 2 times with 0 0.3750 and then minus 2 times with 0 0.3750 and then plus with 1.75 so you may get k2 equal to 1.2231 Okay, so from this two slope, we may calculate our uh, first function solution. It's a y1 equal to y0, 1 plus 1 over 3 times with our first slope, 2 plus 2 times with second slope, 
3, 1 and then multiply with our step size 0 0.5 so if you calculate this you should get your y1 equal to 1.7410 all right okay next we continue for i equal to 1 so this time we want to calculate for the function y2 second value it's obtained from y1 plus 1 over 3 times with our first slope plus 2 times with our second slope times with our step size. Okay, so this is formula restant. Where k1 is a calculation of your first slope at the point x1, y1. So x1 is a 0 0.5, so y1 is from our previous calculation, 1.7410. Okay, plug in this into our equation. Exponent negative 4 multiplied with 0 0.5 minus 2 multiplied with 0 0.5 plus 1.7410. So if you calculate this, you may get your K1 is 0 0.8763. Okay. And then let's calculate our second slope, K2. So K2 is calculation of our slope at this point, X1 plus 3 over 4 times with your step size. And then y1 plus 3 over 4 times with your k1 times with your step size. So if we plug in all the values and simplify, so you, you may get the first point here is 0 0.8750. And then the second point here is a 2.0696. Alright, so substitute into the given equation. Minus 2 times with 0 0.8750 and then plus with your y 2.0696. So you may get your k2. Okay, k2 is uh, 0 0.3498. Okay, so therefore from this two slope here, okay, you may approximate your second function y1. By using restant, sorry, y2 by using restant. So y2 is come from y1, 1.7410, and then plus with 1 over 3, multiply with your first slope, 0 0.8763, and then uh, plus with Two times with your second slope, zero point three four nine eight, and then time with your uh, step size zero point five. Okay, so I put here. All right, y two is equal to two point zero zero three seven. Okay, so next for i equal to 2, so we want to calculate our third function, y3 equal to y2 plus 1 over 3 times with your first slope plus 2 times with your second slope, and then times with your step size, where our first slope is calculation of our derivative at the point x2 y2 so x2 now is a 1.0 y2 from the previous calculation is a 2.0037 all right so substitute into our derivative exponent negative 4 times with 1.0 minus 2 times with 1.0 and then plus 2.0037 so from here you may get your k1 is equal to 0 0.0220 okay so next we calculate our k2 
So kaki tu is the calculation of our slope at this point. X2 plus 3 over 4 multiply with step size. And then Y2 plus 3 over 4 multiply with your K1 time with your step size. So if we substitute all the values and simplify, this uh, may give you 1.375. Five zero and then the other point here is a two point zero one two zero. So substitute into the equation exponent exponent negative four times with one point three seven five zero minus two times with one point three seven five zero and then plus with two point zero one two zero. So this is the calculation for our second slope. K2 you may get negative 0 0.73. Okay, sorry, you may get negative 0 0.7339. Alright. So based on these two slopes, we may get our that's approximate value for y3 is equal to y2 2.0037 plus with 1 over 3 times with our first slope 0 0.0220 and then plus with 2 times with our first slope sorry second slope negative 0 0.7339 and then we multiply with our step size 0 0.5 so therefore you may get your y3 equal to 1.7927 right okay so we, now we have the last part i equal to 3 so this is calculation for y4 by using raster methods come from y3 plus 1 over 3 time with your first slope plus 2 time with your second slope and then time with your step size where first slope is calculation of our directive at the point x3 y3 okay so x3 is a 1.5 and then y3 is from the previous calculation 1.5 7627 7. So substitute into our equation exponent negative 5 multiply with 1.5 minus 2 times with 1.5 and then plus 1.7627. So here you may get your k1 is a negative 1.2348. And then calculate your second slope, K2. It's a calculation of your derivative at this point. X3 plus 3 over 4 times with your step size. And then Y3 plus 3 over 4 times with your first slope times with your step size. So if you insert all the values and simplify, you may get this point is a 1.87. And then the other one is a 1.2997. Okay. So for the calculate our derivative at this point, so exponent negative 4, 1.8750 minus 2 times with 1.8750 and then plus with our y 1.2997. So you may get your k2 is equal to negative 2.4497 all right so therefore from here we can approximate our fourth function y4 is equal to 1.7627 plus with uh, 1 over 3 okay time with i put uh, below here K1 negative 1.2348 Alright And then plus 2 multiply with your K2 Negative 2.4497 Alright 
and then time with your step size 0 0.5 so you may get your y4 equal to 0 0.7 Four zero three. Okay, so we can uh, summarize our solution in this table. And then uh, I'm also plot a graph. Okay, in the same graph here, so that we can see what is the improvement or what is the difference between um, RK raster method with uh, Z and also another uh, RK two methods. So let me summarize first. So from this table, this is our solution uh, that we calculate by using Reston method. Alright, so therefore, the approximate solutions are so as I told you, what we did is actually we find the um, approximate function solution because solving differential equation at the end of the solution you may obtain function and then you plug in the value of your x so that you get the um, what we call particular solution all right so therefore from our calculations we can com we can uh, conclude that um, y when x equal to 0 is simply equal to our initial condition y not 2 and then for y at x equal to 0 0.5 is approximated by our y1 okay which is 1.7410 and then y when x equal to 1.0 is approximated by y2 2.0037 y when x is a 1.5 is uh, approximated by y3 is a 1.7627 and then the last one because we only need anti x equal to 2 so at x equal to 2 y is approximated by y4 is equal to 0 0.7403 Okay, so student, you may refer here at this uh, figure here. So again, the uh, black curve here is our exact solution. So the red curve here is uh, Euler. Okay, the calculation that we obtain by using Euler methods. And then these three solutions here is come from our RK2 methods. Okay, so previously, uh, you see the plotted graph for uh, hewn and then followed by midpoint so now i combine all in the same graph so the solution for reston given by the black color here okay black curve together with the marker um, asterisk marker here okay so we may see here that both um, all the three rk2 method is close to the other okay means that uh, in terms of accuracy uh, midpoint is uh, much better okay because midpoint is the closest one with our is that solution okay and then followed by Rustin and then followed by Hyun so uh, in this problem we can see that uh, midpoint give a better accuracy in comparison with the other methods okay however the most important things that I want to highlight is uh, RK2 method is actually the improvement of Euler method okay so you may see clearly here that um, the solution computed by our RK2 method is uh, far away uh, compared to um, it's a closer sorry it's a much closer to exact compared to Euler methods okay so later on when you uh, look at um, RK4 method so you may see that RK4 is the improvement for RK2 method so I stop here so I hope that um, you gain uh, some important or benefit you from our discussion on RK2. So I wish you good luck. Okay, please try exercises in module or in uh, lecture note or in column. If you face any difficulties, please do not hesitate to discuss with your lecturer. Okay, so I stop here. Thank you for your attention. Until we meet again.